All right, so got the tier eight American Heavy Fighter, the XF5U, the pancake, with the flapjack. Ah, oh, anyway. Um, so let's go ahead and get the, I guess let's get the comm center first. They've got an, a 109TL, which could be a pain in the butt. Pilots, the B-32, which uh, is kind of like the frickin' TOG of um, World of Warplanes. It's a bunch of hit points, and I'm in a tier higher heavy plane. I should be pretty okay. Alright, so... Guns on target is going to be key. I'm saving my bombs. So do I need to save my bombs? Probably don't actually. Probably could just use them. Maybe not. Let's go ahead and get some people sent that way. I'm gonna keep pushing on to their garrison. Let's see if I can get up high enough to have an impact up there. Is that our human person? Let's keep moving over to the garrison, though. Ooh, yep. We want to get what's up high first. We're already up high. Uh, this doesn't have the best altitude performance for a heavy in the game, um, but I mean, it's still got better altitude performance than a lot of the regular fighters. Um, certainly better than things like those defense aircraft. Um, I-250 is low on. Uh, okay. Okay, first. Damn it. Always freaking half a second too slow. I hate that. that guy's on fire, so I'm just gonna kinda let him burn. Well, mistakes were made. 30 millimeter cannon. But I was gonna say I should just gonna straighten him out. And um oh hello sir. Hello sir. Ain't gonna have none of that. No, you're in a jet. But look at the size of these freaking engines for this little this plane is actually for being a heavy is very, very um small. So the combination of these engines and Small, relatively small for a heavy switch wind. Gonna allow me to catch up. A little bit out of position here, but I guess I can play some defense. Uh, which I can do I'm definitely out here for these guys. 56, I wish it was staying up a little bit higher, but oh well. He's a jet, he's got the ability to boost better than I do, but again, the small, uh, relatively small size of this plane compared to, aha, uh -huh, compared to other heavies, is going to allow me to do some crazy stuff that goes straight up. Alright, Zonka, how many hit points are you about to give me? Gotta let off, there's so many hit points here that'll probably overheat my guns. go. He's dropping bombs, so they're going to gain a lot of points, because there are a ton of freaking bombs on said um, B-32, but I was able to counter that simply by killing him. Um, what are we doing here, Terminator? Alright, normally I don't necessarily go for the humans, but I mean, if he's just going to be being a pain in the butt towards our bombers... Then I definitely want to take advantage of him, just not paying attention, I guess. Um, that heavy, I'm going to leave alone. I'm going to help get this sector over here. Plus, there's another heavy I can take down, so let's do that. Let's use the old uh, engine pulling. Hello. Are we going to connect our shots? Can we connect our shots, Postal? So back when this plane used to be overpowered, uh, it was basically a uh, multi-role, it's maneuverability, and it's um, you know 
its overall like tactic. I very much played it like a multi-role and had incredible success doing that. I can't quite do that. The maneuverability has been uh, completely screwed up and it's guns overheat a hundred times more than they ever did. But it can, it's still a little bit more dynamic as far as an air-to-air -air, um, heavy is concerned than a lot of the other that are out there. The 262 at tier 8 is definitely the more boom and zoom. I mean, it's like you definitely look up boom and zoom in the frickin' dictionary. Um, you'll see a 262 on there. Go, I, I dare you, go look. It's there. Um, 1056 at tier 8 uh, is more of a, a ground assault plane, to be honest. A high altitude ground assault plane. And you really want to focus on its ability to attack the ground. This plane here is kind of like an interceptor, in my opinion, and that's the way I play it, as you can see. I've got the two Tiny Tims on here. I haven't had the ability to use them this match. Problem with Tiny Tims. Like any rockets is, you've kind of got to take yourself out of the battle to use them properly. Tiny Tim's even more so. It's not like some of the air-to-ground rockets that you can even use for... Um, as like air-to-air -air defense. Um, I'm not pushing that other comm center because I don't want to get air supremacy. I'm being greedy with my points. And this B-32 should have gone to the comm center. Hopefully he will have learned his lesson. Watching that... I guess... Yeah. I hate to let the bomber do the bomber things, but I can't let these guys get behind me. Yeah, go up. Son of a... F seriously, I just... Like a millimeter, uh, a millisecond too slow. Alrighty, Let's flip back over. Hello, sir. Do you uh, do you regret your life decisions yet? Get this guy knocked out. Okay, so that's one thing I gotta tell you guys. Okay, so if you're being shot by somebody, don't just keep going in a straight damn line. Do anything you can to not go in a straight damn line. Because F that crap, right? That stuff, like, even though obviously I killed him, it still frustrates me. Like, as a human player, you've got the ability to... to know the difference. And I would like to think that he, he could have just turned. Like, that's all. It's a... This plane's pretty maneuverable for a heavy, but it's not more maneuverable um, than a multi-roll, even a one-on-one Alrighty. Seriously? I did not get the kill on that? That's not Alright, well anyway, we won this game, even after me being, uh, you know... Uh, misplaced rage, I don't know, against that guy at the end. Um, so, no no special medals or anything like that, but got a decent amount of personal points, 17,000 there. Let's head on back. Um, you can see the flexibility of this plane. I didn't even do any ground damage, um, but if need be, I can do ground damage. Uh, but because it's rockets, uh, I have this plane specialized, so you have to have the Tiny Tims on there. My focus tends to be more on air-to-air -air engagement. Uh, just because, yeah, I already explained it. If you've got the ability to use the Tiny Tims, do it, but I mean, if you've got to take yourself out of the battle and your guns are better placed in the middle of the battle, then don't do it. It's why people like VBAT haven't specialized this plane yet because they want to keep the bombs on the bottom. Squirrel nuts, as he calls them. And um, I, I can completely understand it. On a plane like this specifically, I would rather have, the, have bombs of some sort than the Tiny Tims. Um, yeah. But anyway, uh, great support from our P-51H. Uh, we really made life difficult for the humans on the enemy team. And you can just see the amount of, honestly, the impact that this plane can have when you put it in the right position. Keep it up high. Um, 
turn to attack the things that you can. The guns are very, very strong, but don't get into dogfights. Um, you know, what a lot of people can happen with is bad word. <laughs> I don't know what my grammar was there, but what can happen with a lot of people is they'll start turning, and they they because this is a little bit more turning than some of the other heavy fighters out there. Um, they'll get into dogfights, and this isn't meant to get into dogfights. It can outturn heavy fighters, sure, but don't think you're going to be dogfighting uh, lights or even most multi rolls. Um, yeah, get the, get the guns on target, knock them the crap out, and move on to the next uh, to the next plane. And when in doubt, go higher. Um, if this plane's just it's it feels so comfortable at 8,000 feet and above, um, and when you're pulling fighters up that high, especially if you're in a tier eight battle, if you're pulling other planes up that high, you typically have the advantage. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really. Um, I really enjoy the pancake still. I mean, yeah, it's been like a year since it was nerfed. Maybe even longer than that. But I, it's still a strong plane on the heavy fighter line for the Americans. And it only gets better from here. Tier 9 uh, heavy, the F2H, is probably one of the best heavies in the game, in my opinion. And the XF90 at Tier 10 uh, tends to be the go-to Tier 10 heavy fighter that most people jump into. And it all really starts with, uh, well, it doesn't start with this, but, you know, it's good, uh, it's good to have the um, Americans at a high tier, all being very good planes. Thank you so much for joining me, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Have fun.